Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Welcome to this video where I'm going to talk you through a typical day at UCL. So I'm actually a fourth year medical student at UCL and have completed my first three years. Some may say, oh, you're almost there. But in reality, I've completed three years and three long, stressful years to go. So now I'll walk you through a day, a typical day at UCL Medical School. So wake up around eight o'clock and a short walk to Houston campus. A lot of the accommodations are quite close to the actual uni itself. At max, you'll have a 30 minute walk, but usually 10 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on which accommodation you end up getting. Lectures usually start at nine, and a typical day does run from nine to five, which may scare you because other university courses aren't this long. But unfortunately, you'll find uh, when you study medicine, it will be nine to five, what, no matter what university you go to. It will usually start with a typical physiological lecture, for example, on hypertension, where a lecturer will go through a section of the course in front of 300 people. People are free to ask as many, as, they, as many questions as they would like throughout this session. And it take, takes place in a theatre where with over 300 people. Following that lecture, usually there is a lecture straight after. Now this will be related to the topic already studied, but it will either be in a lot more detail or it will look at another aspect of it. For example, this lecture, Pharmacology of Cardiac Disease, still is focusing on the cardiology aspect, but now it is looking at the pharmacology side of it. Then you'll have a bit of free time in between now until the next lecture, where you can go back to your accommodation, have a nap, study in the library, or relax with friends. Now, everyone does whatever they prefer, and it, honestly, this, this part is basically really up to you. After that, you return, and you have an afternoon lab session. Here, you'll have lots of different things to do, where you'll be in a special room with loads of specialised equipment for this. For example, you'll be visualising ECG scans on a typical day like this. These sessions are compulsory and are really, really useful to attend because they actually bring all the knowledge you've learnt into real life. Then in the afternoon, you usually have a vertical lecture. Now, vertical lectures are called vertical because the knowledge required for them is required from years one to year six. Therefore, it goes vertically throughout the medical career. This is typically related to the ethical aspects of medicine. For example, the role of the GP in the community. And then around five o'clock, you'd head back home. Now, this is the typical day, but there will be shorter days. For example, on Wednesdays, um, in every uh, university, finishes at 12 o'clock. So in the afternoon, you can go to uh, loads of sports and do any activities you would like. Now, I'll tell you why I really like UCL myself. So there's this thing called lecture cost, where if you miss certain aspects of the lecture, or you're unable to attend the lecture for whatever reason, you can watch it back in your own time, just as how you're watching this video now. On Thursday, you have a full day in the hospital where you'll either be at Royal Free uh, in Hampstead, UCH in Euston, or the Whittington in Archway. Here you'll get lots of chance, chances to meet patients and interact with a smaller group. This is where you really get group learning, which is what you'd be used to at Sixth Form in college. On Mondays, we typically have di dissections. Now, dissections I really found useful in my first two years because it helped me understand what I saw on loads of screens and in textbooks. To actually apply it to an actual person is mesmerising and incredible, really. I definitely recommend applying to a university where you're able to do dissections because it will really enhance your learning experience. And then with exams, this isn't a reason why I enjoy UCL, um, but it's just on the list as to an additional factor. Now, the exams take place at the end of the year. These are the summative exams, and these are the ones that actually count. The first two years count towards an eighth of your BSc. Now, at UCL, you, you, your third year is an intercalated BSc. This means, as well as the normal doctor or MBBS degree you get, you also get an additional BSc, a Bachelor of Science. In this year, you'll specialise in loads of different things, no matter depending on what you prefer. I actually chose psychology for my third year, um, but there are lots of different options such as neuroscience, global health and paediatrics. There are also exams throughout the years, which are called formatives. Now these are like your mocks and half-term tests that you'll be used to. These are really useful for trying to get what sort of level you're at and what things you need to improve on. 
So a typical day at UCL Medical School will take place in this red building you see here, the cruciform. The lectures will take place in LT1, in a, where there will be 300 people in a massive, large lecture setting. This will be very different to what you're used to at school, where classrooms are only 10 to 15 people. If you prefer problem-based learning, where you can actually learn in smaller groups, then another university might be a better option. In another video, we're going to go through the different university types. And here is a picture from our library, which is in the same red building. This is where a lot of students go after lectures, just to consolidate their knowledge. This building is newly refurbished, so all the facilities are very, very popular, not just amongst the medical students, but also among the non-medics as well. So a typical day at UCL Medical School. Moving on. There are lots and lots of societies um, that are specific just for medical students at UCL. There's a special actual union called RUMS. Now in RUMS, only medical students are actually able to take part. And there's loads of actual societies which are unique to it. This includes the one seen here. So you have the RUMS Review, which is a special magazine which goes through all the different things that are going on around UCL and the world. There's also the MD show, which is a comedy show, and a lot of people carry out stand-up and acting there. And of course there's sports as well. There are sports teams specific just to rums, for example rugby, netball and hockey. I was actually part of the fifth team at UCL and I found it really, really engaging because it was a nice part of my actual year where I wasn't just stuck in the classroom all day. Now, this is a typical day at UCL Medical School. If you have any more questions about UCL itself, feel free to email us and either me or Kunal will be happy to answer your questions. The Medic Mind online course is being used by thousands of UK CAT students across the UK. For £30, you can access all 150 tutorials in our online course. The course covers four full days of UK CAT teaching as well as a course to help you with your personal statement and interview. You're free to ask as many questions as you'd like to our teachers, and with each tutorial, you can read along using our five UK CAT eBooks, covering 500 pages of theory and questions to guide you every step of the way. 